Hi, Dan from DJ More Lofts, and today we're heading to Biggles Wade. Um, so we seem to do quite a few conversions in this estate. I believe it's called the Kingsbrook Estate, um, and we've we've like I said, we've done quite a few conversions here now. Um, but towards the end of this year now, we've got three, three I believe, on this estate. So we've started one. I'm just on my way now to set off another one. Nathan's team's just about to start one on a new build um, that's got two pitch roof dormers, creating two bedrooms, a bathroom, and then we're doing sli something slightly different on this one. We're going to rejig the first floor layout, not because we need to for the stairs, but because the client's got that extra bedroom in the loft, what they're doing is making their current master bedroom a bit bigger um, and then going to add an ensuite to it. So we're going to be doing that in the coming weeks as well there. But first things first, let's get over there, take delivery of the materials. We'll give you a little walk around, a little insight to what's um, what's going on there with regards to structurally stills and, and bits and bobs like that. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will be another one that we can show you the process all the way through. But let's go. Right, so we've just pulled up. We're just waiting for the crane and to pull up but this is the new build property that i was just saying about so on this one we've got two flat roof dormers now when i say flat roof dormers this um estate has got loads of these little mini flat roof dormers so that's what we're basically putting in on this one and i've got the these two flower pot men taking the mick out of it already and ruining every bit of video but what are we doing on this one so obviously well, that is the space that we've got these are the two pitch roof dormers. I say pitch roof, two flat roof dormers that we're putting on the front. Then we've got three SK06s to the rear. Um, but yeah, we're just waiting for the crane. We've had a scaffold put up at the back on this one just because it's a bit tight for access around here. So we're going to get a load of materials put on the back as well just to help with space, um, which is quite nice. And like we say, we've got these two comical characters causing chaos already. But we did do one just further down there. I don't know if you can see that V-Lux. Um, we've done that one last year. Similar size property, but that one was just one big master bedroom. What have we got? Don't think this is all ours. Looking at that, there's other company's name on there. UK Loft Room. Shout out to UK Loft Room. Um, so that is ours. That's got my name on it. DJ Moore, DJ Moore. Um, I know these stills are ours. These are our spine beams. We've got two spine beams. There's our floor joists, windows, lads, and all our timber. All of that, all of that. Good thing you ain't got a skirt on. So basically what we'll do is we'll make two holes now because we've got two spine beams, one there, one there roughly. But what they've just done is measured out so we know what truss to open up basically. Driver's just manoeuvring his wagon so he can get in and out um, with the legs and stuff so everything can get set up nicely. So we're just getting the few bits up now because what we need to do is get to the bottom stills and annoyingly they're right at the bottom on this delivery. But we've had our plasterboard lifted up. We've got all our 3x2 here. Got the first hole and Jay's just clearing through this now. So we're just flattening down these metal braces just so that we can put the spine beam all the way through. So on this one, that's our stair wall. So our stairs are going to go on that side tight. So we need to make sure our still set out lovely along that edge. First one is in. So we've got bearing plate front and back, which sat on. And then this is that wall that I was talking about that we've got to make sure it's on that side off. Then we've got this other one that's going through here. Yes, mate. So I've just re-shifted re the chain. So now what will happen is that'll start rolling basically. Should do. Excuse. So now what we're going to do? Slide it through. Oh, you're off the bar. Oh, is that it? Oh. All right. Let's go. Let's keep going in a little bit. One, two, three. So whilst I mesh around outside taking the rest of the delivery, I thought I'd jump in and talk you through what we're doing inside on this one. So we've got these two spine beams that you see here. 203, 203. I want to say 60 off the top of my head. Yeah. 60 um which is basically the weight of the steel so effectively they run front to back on small bearing plates um, and then what that's done is is split the, uh, the span of the steel down because we've got the stairs in the middle here we need two of these for one each side to pick up the steel so we're going to have an eaves beam going along there an ease beam going along there same thing again there and the same thing again there which you'll be able to see here so now built on top of these will be our dwarf wall and then we've got at the front, we'll have our two pitch roof dormers. Sorry, the, this is the back, this is the front. So our pitch roof dormers will built, be built on top of that still. And you see where you've got small indentation. So then the spec we've got here, I believe, 
is we've got 9 2s at 300 centres, so you will have them for every 300 mil all the way across there. The rafters on this are going to be doubled up with 6 by 2 and then the actual ceiling collar, so if you can imagine what we call the collar at the top, is 6x2 as well. So we're going to have 6x2 rafters and 6x2 collars all the way through. So effectively what we'll do is we'll have a ceiling collar that will go onto a doubled up rafter and then there'll be a still at the bottom which will have our upright dwarf wall on it. So effectively we're building a whole new roof inside this roof. So we're just getting the last bits of steels up there now. And uh, that is pretty much a wrap other than our Veluxes that are going to go up. So we are done. That is another loft lifter, well, another loft delivery taken basically. So just got to lift those last little bits up and then that's a wrap. And we're all set up, all set up on this one. So the lads have struggled last week finishing off their last one just because the weather was horrendous. Um, so this will come out probably a couple of weeks later. Um, but yeah, this is where we've had all the floods in Scotland and stuff like that and we've just had a little bit of the storm coming down our way. Um, so it's just been causing chaos with the weather and finishing off outside of projects. So we're a couple of days behind on this one. So we've come to take delivery and then we're then going to jump back off, finish the other one and back here Wednesday slash Thursday, um, all being well. But yeah, just had a good chat with a the client. They were happy uh, that we're getting set up. So we'll have this one all wrapped up before Christmas and uh, yeah. What we'll do is we'll jump back once the structure stage is done and we'll come and do a little video of that so you can see the inside of this one as well. Um, but that is today's video wrapped up. But don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Have a little look through our library now. I think we're coming up to 250 videos, which is quite some, uh, quite some achievement considering we're just a little loft converter. Um, but yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, share those videos. It really helps. It's much really appreciated. And we'll see you again soon. Enjoy. Just view, view, I can't view. even speak.